Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be getting all my plants ready to go to Central California. So I'm debating on how I want to transport these plants. A lot of the bigger ones, I think I'm going to have to take them out of those five gallon containers because they are just way too heavy because there was a rain. I'm trying to figure out how I want to transport these. Uh, I believe these one gallons I'm going to leave as is. But I'm just trying to see my best option because I do want to take all of these, which these ones are mine. But I do want to take these because I do want to do that fountain for my grandma. So I'm probably going to take those. So I need to take them out because it's just going to be too much to take those. Maybe I could stack these in here. Um, maybe I'll put these in here. See, they're heavy too because of the rain. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do and then I will let you know these. I might take out the hardier ones like this. I might take it out. Um, like my berries, I might take them out because I can kind of wrap them and know that they'll be okay. These um, sedums are not that forgiving. The leaves pop right off and these ones as well. So I'm going to see how I want to transport these. I do have a lot of plants. I do want to take these two of these as well. So yeah, I'm just debating on how I'm going to do this. So here is how they look right now. I also have these a little weeds growing in that I need to clean out. So yeah, I'm just debating. So I wanted to bring you along to show you how I'm going to transport these plants. These, I will also leave these ghost plants. Um, my aunt um, wanted some of these in her arrangement. So I picked up some. And those are very hard to transport because the leaves pop off, but I'm gonna do my best and any leaves that pop off, I'll just go ahead and propagate. So let me go ahead and um, leave you right here and I will let you know how I transport all these plants. There for that one okay for this one i'm going to take cuttings from it because i'm going to set that in a fountain arrangement so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now so they have a couple i'm going to do the, the arrangement problem friday or saturday so i'll give it a couple of days to kill us over so here i go
I'm actually gonna use fishing line because I can't get in there with the scissors well on this one right now. So, and plus I wanted to try it anyways because I just got this fishing fishing line to go ahead and I got this fishing line to go ahead and try to behead some of my echeverias. So I figured I might as well use it right now too. I'm just going in there. I'm gonna leave that little baby. And then you just twist it and pull. Oh, that was easy. I have that, it's a clean cut. So for this one, I am gonna leave, actually I'll go ahead and take this leaf off. So I'm just bending it down. And then there's a clean cut there. And I'll ditch this one too. Sorry about my nails, yeah, I'm getting really dirty out here with the wet soil. Oh, so this one, okay, I'll just I'll pull this off like that, but then I'll cut this again. Just a little bit, so it's a clean cut. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna let it callus over in this container here. So here we go, let's get another one. So that's all the cuttings I'm gonna take. Actually, there is one more here. So I'm gonna take a cutting from this one here. And even though it is new growth, I'm still gonna take it because it'll grow nicely for my grandma. This one I hope to do in her fountain. I'm hoping to do that, so. There we go. So I have little leaves here that will most likely propagate because they are clean cuts. So I will just keep those separate. This one's done. This one. I'm going to take cuttings from this as well because they just grow back so nicely and I just figured I will do that so that I can just like that. So I could set these in her garden too. And for this, I'm just gonna trim it up on the bottom so that I have a little stem there that I can set in the soil. A little baby there too. So it's gonna be just like that. 
the little fly in there, it's okay. So these I'm just sitting in here. Arrangement. So I'm gonna go around to this like this. I think I cut a, a leaf, but it's okay. Yeah, I cut some leaves. <laughs> it was just one that got cut. The ones are clean. So this one, I'm just gonna do the same thing and pull off the little leaves at the bottom so that I can pop it in some soil like that. So same thing here. That pull. Let me see, I don't want you. Oops, I dropped her. Oh, yeah, here. Uh oh. Oh. Be a little more careful with this one. There we go. Just like that. And I'm gonna limit up again. And I think I will. I'll just take from it. <clears throat> just like that. And there's that one, and I'll put this in a shade too. Take from cuttings from this one, but this one I don't need to use my um, my wire because or my fishing line because these are really leggy, so you can definitely see where you want to do the cuts. So I'm just gonna start taking cuttings from these, and I'm gonna do it at an angle so that it can heal well. I'll cut them and then I'll clean them up like this. It's just for filler, so it's not like a main plant, so I'm not too concerned. Um, yeah, if there's any little parts that need to be cut off and cleaned up, I could do that this part too. I'm gonna cut right there. This is a nice time to cut too, because this plant uh, needed a trim. This is one I have take cut, taken cuttings from too, and you, as you can see already, it has um, filled in. They're nice for filler, for sure. One, two, three, four, five. the farina, it's okay. Let's see what else here. Eat on this one. Like that, then I'll cut this little piece off. Hopefully that gives new growth too. And that's enough for that one. All right, so here these are. All the cuttings I took and the Semper Vivums are in here. So these will be easier to transport instead of those one gallon containers. And these were in like, I don't know, six inch containers. So they're all there. They're just kind of covered by these cuttings. So now they can callus over and these will be fine to add to the arrangement. Now I'm gonna take these out of the container because it's just too much soil for this plant. So just working it out of the container. This on the roof go pretty deep. And these I'll put in a um, little gallon, or not gallon, um, four inch containers. All right, this one I will. Let me grab one. Got a little soil in there, probably too much. And I'm just gonna set it in there. Just keep 
deep in there. This one in a five, five inch pot, just so it could hold it in there good. Add a little more of that soil. This will kind of hold it all in there too. to transport it. taking this big old thing. Let's see. There's a lot of dead leaves on here. This one I'm just gonna cut the pot open because it's just a little too crazy to try to work it out. So I'm just gonna cut it. plant that got in there, leave that here. So then I'm cleaning it up as I go. Okay, this one I'm gonna cut because I see some see some um, mealies, so I'm just going to cut this one off that part, like that. And I'm going to clean it up. spray too. Yeah, I see some noise on here. Okay, that's not good. But you deal with it when you find them. Um, honestly, I just want some good pieces for my aunt because she liked this one. So I'm just limbing this big one up. I'm hoping that this will work. 
I am spraying it because it had mealybugs. I see one in here, and it's gross. <sighs> I'm just taking off these big ones because, oh gosh, so many. Ugh. Okay. So this is a nice one to set, but I am gonna have to clean it up and see if, get rid of these millies. So the solution has alcohol, soap, um, hot sauce, what else? Alcohol, soap, water, and hot sauce. And I got that recipe from a cactus show that I went to. This one's all crazy. I'm gonna keep that one, clean it up. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cute. Aeoniums are in growing season, so um, not too worried about these. They should be fine. Sorry, you see me just tossing them. <laughs> I'm like over these right now. It's gross when you find lays on your plants. Especially if you just bought them. I'm just bring everything down. I don't know if I use this, but I'm spraying it. I'm over it. Okay, next I'm gonna do. show you but I'm not gonna be able to let's see I'm gonna do this big old flapjack um but I can't do it on the table really let me see it yeah it's way too big so let me pause and I'll show you out, out of the soil all right so I pulled this bad boy out and I already see some babies so beautiful flapjack and the leaves has to come off down there look at these babies I don't want to disrupt those. So I'm gonna find a place to lay it down. And that's how I'm gonna transport this like this. So beautiful. All right, next I pulled out this Agavoides. I'm gonna cut these blooms real quick. And I'm gonna clean up this little area here. Keep off as much soil as possible because it's heavy because it's wet. Um, so many babies, look at this. It's crazy. I kind of got stuck there. Move it out so it could have some room to grow out. There's a little baby there. These are all like looking like old blooms. See, I'm just trying to get as much soil as I can because this is very heavy because of the wet soil. Oh, crazy. So this is actually this guy. I'm gonna pull that one off to get this other one broom. Oops. So I'm gonna pull that off there. Oops, this one broke off. Oops. It's okay. We're just worried about the main plant. 
I'm gonna leave the babies, of course. That one fell off. Um, so I'll just be a little more careful here. This plant is super heavy. Thought that was a leaf that fell off, though not a baby. So these I'm just gonna keep here. I wasn't planning on taking any of the babies off, but that this one needed some room. And the other one just happened to fall off. So the rest are staying there. Look at all these ones here. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Leaving that one. That one has room now to grow. So that one probably be moving outward. But yes, this will go like this. I'm gonna find a pot for it to stick it in. Oh, look at a worm. Ah! I'll put that in the dirt right now. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this in. Let me put some soil in there though first. Dry soil. Okay. Just a nice base there to set this in. Just like that. I'm just gonna kind of give it a little push down. And that'll transport like that. Next is this one. I should take it out of this big old box. Okay, I'll find that worm and put it in some dirt. Get found a home in here. So this is the one I just took out. And these are the root system. So I'm gonna find a little container to sit this in. Got some soil on this thing. Okay, so these I wanna keep like this together. Um, there are like a couple of branches in here, but I love how it looks like that and I want it to fall over eventually. So I'm sticking in this pot. This is a good thing about keeping old nursery pots is that you have them available when you need them. So I'm just gonna stick this in here. Give it a little push down into the soil. Just so that it can have a good holding so it's not going anywhere really. show you what everything looks like so far. All right, friends. So here it is. This is all the plants I'm taking to my aunts and my grandmas. I put them in smaller pots so I don't take those huge five gallon heavy waterlogged soil pots. Um, I have the aeonium cuttings in there. I rinse them off after putting my solution on them. Those are in there. And I have all these are going that are in two inch pot four inch pots and then all the cuttings plus the semper vivums are in there as well so here it is hopefully everything gets there in nice shape i'm hoping i'm believing they are gonna get there in good shape because i um uh, created an environment that will be best for um having them in the road, having them in the car on the road. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me getting ready for um, the projects I'm gonna be doing in Central California. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. I actually forgot to add a couple of the ghost plants back in and that um, beautiful Pearl Von Nuremberg. So this is my full flat of the succulents that I will be taking to my grandma's and my aunt's. Talk to you on the next video, bye.